you know, they say I'm crazy. <laughs> maybe I am, or maybe I ain't. <laughs> but sometimes I really think that I am. But I don't give a damn. They say I'm crazy. They say I'm crazy. I really don't care. But I don't they say care. I'm crazy. They say I'm crazy. But I don't give a damn. They say I'm crazy. They say I'm crazy. They really don't care. But I don't care. They say I'm crazy. They say I'm crazy. But I The God of Horrorcore and I won't say it twice If you see me with an ink pen, it's really a knife Real talk, motherfucker, see the blades inside I'ma stick you in your side just to see what's inside of your side Eight ball side pocket, you feel it? You see me cooking, ain't no telling what's inside of the skillet I'm the inventor and creator, I'm the Horrorcore master Brains popping out like a nigga shaking a Shasta When the blood get to rushing, either drink it or leave it. Ice cup, add some sugar, call it Kool-Aid liquid If you fall in a fight, get your bitch ass up If you sleeping on a nigga, wake your bitch ass up It's the SPC, nigga, you know us you know. If we holding on them K's, nigga, we gon' bust Two, two, threes, hit your ass, that's when we see us And when your stomach opens up, it looks like utter disgust They rush you to the hospital, hoping you make it Hoping you make it, family's hoping you make it But you won't, that's why your ass lay up stiff Ain't no cars at the funeral, just Uber and Lyft They say I'm crazy They say I'm crazy I really don't care But I don't care They say I'm crazy They say I'm crazy But I don't give a damn They say I'm crazy They say I'm crazy Homie, hey. I let it rip, homie hey. With them shells big enough to sink a ship, homie hey. Pay attention to the noises in your house, nigga You hearing six or seven voices in your house, nigga They saying, get that nigga They saying, wake him up and gut him It's a street translation saying, wake him up and cut him From his head to his feet to the side of his hat Change directions with the butcher knife to the side of his back Now I'm crunching on some bones like some Fritos, man All this cheese around my mouth like some Cheetos, man Homie, just like a pimp when he beat hoes, man And get to shooting up his house like some free throws, man They say I'm crazy, they say I'm wicked deranged But if you really think about it, I'm the black Dr. Strange Six feet deep at the funeral, we carry him there Cause this body's kinda heavy like I'm dragging a bear. You can visualize my lyrics, you can see yourself With your right side showing, but your left side left You won't show the minister, so I do have to mention Motherfuck Netflix, I revoke my subscription They say I'm crazy They say I'm crazy I really don't care but I don't They say care. I'm crazy They say I'm crazy But I don't give a damn They say I'm crazy Oh yeah, bitches. They say he's crazy, and they are correct. Once again, <laughs> Psycho Nip, Gangsta Nip, Brother Nip is on the Nothing Sacred show. And because he's got a new album, it's called <laughs> The Greatest Whores, Volume 1. Not whores, but horrors. <laughs> Psycho Nip, what's up, man? What's happening? Hey, man, I'm just chilling, man. You know, happy to still be here doing, you know, Doing what I do, you know. I just had a birthday, you know. Oh, well, happy, right. happy birthday, right. man! Weeks ago. Oh, you know what? I forgot to introduce everybody. I'm Maxwell Silver. And I am Cruise <laughs> Control, and this is the Nothing Sacred interview with Gangsta Nip once again, back again. So, so nice. Had to have him on twice, especially since he's got a new album. So, your birthday does that coincide with the release of this? Because I knew this was recently. Well, uh, so, but happy birthday, man! Happy 29th. Uh, I'm sure that's what you're right. 29th, uh, right? Thank, thank you so much. You know, I, <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't trying to, you know. It, you know, with you know, with the album, I'm just 
thankful to still be here, still be yeah. here man. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, you um, know, that, that was your original plan, though, right? You were going to release this album on your birthday. Yes, but, you know, I, I added, you know, I started adding, you know, a few more songs. Oh, so your because, creative side kicked in. Yes, it did. Because, you know, like, when you drop a greatest hits album, you know what I'm saying? I just call it the greatest horrors. But mm -hmm. when you drop that, you know, I like to have songs on there, you know, that people haven't heard. So this album will will consist of like six new songs. Oh, sweet. Oh, and nice. we've got four of them here tonight, I believe. And, and the album is The, the uh, Greatest Horrors. And that first song was... Uh, was they say I'm crazy? Uh, so why don't you go into a little bit about your mindset behind that song for a bit? Well, you know, I was I was watching the Bobby Brown story, you know. So that you know that that made me kind of you know <laughs> want to do it because if, if if you listen to the hook, you know, they say I'm crazy. I, I really, really don't, don't care. care. Yeah, so my I, prerogative. So I. Yeah, so I had my people to sing the, um, you know, to sing that my prerogative, you know, um, first part, you know, mm -hmm. which is actually like a tribute, you know, to Bobby because Bobby went through a lot. He went through a lot on that story. He went through like four deaths. Not just you that, know? but drug addiction and all kinds of other stuff that he was going yeah, through. Yeah, but, but those are things that you can rectify. But anytime you have, you know, a death right after a death, right after a death, right after a death, that's enough to make you drive off the um off the bridge. Off the deep you know, end, man, because you go yeah. through one death and you lose, have one loss, and then a second one is just devastating. Because you're just, especially like when you're just trying to 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 come back, you know, get back on your feet. So that might be might have had a lot to do with it. So so it was inspired by Bobby Brown because you watched his uh, watched a documentary or something. Exactly. Well, I like the Spice One sample that you guys replayed for that man. Yes, you know what I'm saying. You know, it was actually played. You know, one thing, I, one thing I don't do, I don't do, I don't do samples. You know, I like, I like my producers to be able to play things over. Mm -hmm. well, you know, did a nice so, job of that. Yeah, I had, I, I had them play that. Yeah, yeah, I don't do the samples. Man, man, because I was listening to it, I'm like, what is that? I know, I know that that music from somewhere, and I had to think, and I was like, oh shit, Spice One, don't ring the alarm. <laughs> so. Yeah, shout out. Shout out to Spice One. See, if I if I wouldn't have liked the song, then I wouldn't have did it. You know, Spice did Spice and Boss, the young lady. They did they did a wonderful job. On, on, that's one of my favorite songs. You know, and I always did like that beat. You know, so I asked my producer. Shout out to D Tag, D Tag the General. You know, I asked him could he um could he make me a version of it? And you know, like I said, it's really just a you know kind of like a. Tr a tribute, you know what I'm saying? Every now and then I do a song, you know, over that that I like. Mm -hmm. you know, to bring it back. That's the definitely well, that's a that's a nice track, man. I like how that and that that leads to my, my to my next question here. Okay, so obviously you dropped you dropped the creator of Horrorcore earlier this year. Now you're about yes. to drop this one. So how is it, because I know a lot of artists, man, will drop several al several albums in a year, and they just, you can tell that it's slapped together, it's rushed, but you continue to keep the quality in your music, man. How do you do that versus these other guys? Well, you know, I, I just think that I was blessed with longevity. You know, that's what it is, because, you know, I'm 49 years old. Mm -hmm. mm. So how many rappers you know that's 49 and still hard as fuck? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's true. So I actually think I'm way better now. Yeah, I think I'm way better now than, than I ever been. Yeah, it does but seem doesn't that artists as they get older they get either they either get kind of weaker or spread out, you know, like or they try to try to reinvent themselves or try this whole bunch of shit. Well, you've kind of kept what you're doing and kind of built upon that. Instead of trying to like, oh, reinvent the wheel and, and change things, there's nothing wrong with that either. But but there's also nothing wrong with and there's advantages to kind of keeping what what works and what works and kind of keeping that identity and that and that kind of uh, to keep that identity like like I said going through and, and the same style and just building on that as you as you get older, so you get better at that specific style. Yes, sir. You know, you know, I was able, I was able to master the style of horrorcore, and I, you know. 
you have to understand, you know, uh, um, I was blessed to create my own lane. You know, it's it, it's plenty of people that, you know, that do horrorcore, but it's a, it's a, I do it in a more vivid, visual, you know, way than what everybody else is doing. I, I think that they lack a lot of, a lot of detailed, you know, visuals, you know, inside of the rhyme because it's supposed to be a horror movie. Mm-hmm. So, right. you know, you can't, if it's not detailed and horrifying, if you're not able to see it inside of your mind without having a screen in front of you, then it's not really, you know, horrorcore. You know, a lot of cats say a bunch of wicked words, but that really doesn't make it horrorcore because it's, it lacks detailism. If you notice, the way I rap is detail. Mm-hmm. It's draw, totally draw a picture with your words. And that's, yes, and that's why, you know, I was blessed to be the the god of horrorcore. You know, I used to be the king. Now I'm the god. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. You, you, you work to get to that <laughs> point. <laughs> you, you updated that shit for it. You updated that shit. Hey, a uh, question about... um. Now this album, obviously, you've got six new songs. Um, I don't know if you have a release date or not for it yet, or if you're just tentative, or do you have any any ideas? Um, yeah, I, or I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. I, I actually, I held it. I really want to do it. It's gonna probably come like probably the second week in October. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to make a thing. October, give it that Halloween feel. Ah, okay, that's a good idea. Get it out before before uh, Halloween. Uh, yeah, Halloween, Halloween comes Halloween out. Halloween feel, and that's why that cover is so dynamic. I know you guys saw that cover. That cover is dynamic. Mm-hmm. The friendly horrorcore, as you called it yesterday. You know, it's just a friendly horrorcore. You know, <laughs> it, is, it is what it is, you know. And that's what I'm saying. If you look at the cover, the cover is very detailed. Mm-hmm. Right. Very yeah. visual, really clear, and it's structurally sound. Mm-hmm. So you you can't you, you're not going to be able to find that you know um, anywhere else. Yeah, the cut off yeah. hand with the microphone in it is great, I like that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, you know. So I just like to get my fans, you know, um, on the gangsta nip side, you know what they what they expect from me, and you know I have a lot of people always tell me that I have you know. I haven't, you know, I haven't lost anything, you know, I've, I've actually gained, you know, I've gained more, so I'm just blessed, man. So with, yeah. with the six songs that are on there that are new, how many other songs are going to be on there, if, uh, like how many of your older uh, older songs um, are going to be probably, on there? It'll probably be about 18 tracks. Okay. 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 Anything from the old rap catalog, or is it all going to be stuff after rap well, you know, I would like to, I like to, I like to showcase my label, Psych Ward Entertainment. I like to just showcase the things that people haven't heard because, you know, you can go to YouTube and, and, and hear South Park Psycho, you know, or, mm-hmm. or you know, any of the rap a lot stuff. But, you know, I'm kind of a dude, what is he doing now? What's now? You know what I did back then, but what is he and how is he sounding now? And then when they hear me now, they like, damn, you know, mm-hmm. because I'm, you know, pe- people like those albums because they're, you know, they're my classic albums, but it wasn't on, th- th- those albums aren't on the level that I'm on now. Well, yeah, it's like you said, perfecting your, it's like looking back at something you started, like when you, you started drawing when you were 12. And now you're drawing when yeah, you're yeah, when you're yeah. when you're 49 or whatever or 40 or whatever, and not you, you if you continue drawing and, and, and specializing, you're going to get better at that. So are these? When is the first like how? When did when is so basically what is the year range for these songs for for this album? Like what like when did they um, like? Would you say the first song would be like just in terms of years like 2000? Probably 2000. Probably teen. No, oh, right, right. Okay. So, so more modern and, stuff, and not a, a lot of night, a lot of songs that people haven't caught up on. That so they can get caught up on what you were doing. And, yeah, uh, gonna get, yeah. And this is and this is the beauty of a greatest hits album again, because it might be songs that people haven't that people haven't heard. 
Right. And that's why that's why I decided to even put a new six with with the level that I'm on now to you know to filter in and give it the balance. Even though 2010, you know, you know that mm-hmm. like you know, basically eight, you know, eight years ago, uh, it might go further than that. It might go, you know, eight or nine. But you know, it's just it's just a blessing, man. To to have the new stuff, you know what I'm saying, with that, because I was still hard, but it's all still psych ward entertainment, you know, thing. But I just think that I just keep getting, you know, I keep getting better and better. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, let's let's uh, let's continue uh, listening to that improvement. Uh, why don't we go into uh, the second song on this, and we'll talk about this afterwards. This is whatever what, suits you. Whatever suits you. This is actually just a just a beat. Battles mine. tempting. Oh yeah, whatever suits. You. Whatever suits you. Hell, hell yeah, and it's a pretty pretty tight track. That's my favorite one yeah. you sent me. Actually, I, I got I got to agree, man. That one's just just <laughs> banging. I, I, I love it. So. Shout out to D Tag. <laughs> So let's get into that right now. We'll be back on the Nothing Sacred interview. We got Gangsta Nip with the Greatest Horrors album coming out soon. This is one of the new ones. This is Whatever Suits Ya. Yo, yo. yo. All you hardcore rappers, attention. You know, I hear things out there, you know what I'm saying? Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. You know what I'm saying? Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. <laughs> Battles tempting, my rhymes are shoot ya. Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. Hey. Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. Hey. Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? No, no, Kill him. Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. Hey. Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. Hey. Battles tempting, whatever suits ya. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? Kill him. I'm a psychopath, me and my niggas, we gon' ride. Psych war, come through with them heaters, you gon' die. Team killers and white beaters, that's never gon' hide. When you hear that pop, pop, tell a Children to go inside When you come against me What you hope to gain Like vampire blood Let me poke the veins I'ma stick the veins in When I stick the neck Psych war bloodline So we lick the neck So don't disrespect Cause I'ma disconnect With demented Demonic type of intellect It'll cost a motherfucker Two racks to feature Beat ya It'll cost four stacks To eat ya Creature from the Motherfucking black lagoon A hundred round AK Will evac the room Suck up the body parts With a vac or broom No forks in the kitchen ass back to spoon Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? No, no, Kill him. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? Kill I take ten hardcore rappers, line them up. What else? Inside the blender and grind them up. Hey. Vindictively verbal, a visual movie. Vocally vicious, virus in a smoothie. No. Say, tannic. Cynical word Kill. with actionary dialogue, then it's a verb. The adjective always describes the verb. Psychotic always describes my words. Hellacious imagery, you can see this shit. Cross me, then you wouldn't wanna be this shit. Psychological mind feels explodes the cranium. Titanium in its rare form mixed with uranium. Punchline set up to destroy, diminish him. Your favorite rapper, find him, fast forward and finish him. Kill. There's no one scarier. The more the merrier, I swear I'll bury you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? No, no, Kill him. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? Kill Now if you're feeling kind of froggy, jump on up. 40 Glock hit you, so I put the pump on up. Put your knife, motherfucker. Yeah, it's always with me. Me. Primarily, I attack the liver and kidneys. What else? Rhyme hit you, now your legs are gone. Enough force that it turns your whole head around. Face decapitation or earn it back. It takes another hard rhyme just to turn it back. Hey. I put up the 40 and grab the Mac 10. Two shots to put your liver and kidneys back in. Terror in this motherfucker, this is what it's gonna be. Attention, all hardcore rappers better run from hey. me. Introduce these rappers to what pain is, nigga. And I don't give a fuck what your name is, nigga. I'm the guard of hardcore, see, I've been that nigga. If you know another rapper, but you can send that nigga. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? No, no, Kill him. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. Battles tempted, whatever suits you. Hey. How do I plead the homicide? Kill. Kill. All right, that was Whatever Suits You by Gangsta Nip off the new coming out album soon, Greatest Horrors. 
a brand new volume song, one. Volume <laughs> One, out of Volume Fifty Six. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my my hear a Volume Fifty Six one day. So, shit. So, what inspired <laughs> you to do this song? This song is like like it's, it's like battle. You know, it's a, it has that battle rap feel, obviously, um, and yes, just no. just that that pushing pushing tempo and just like kind of harder harder feel. So, what what exactly inspired you for this one? You know, you know, you know. I have a lot of cats. You know, you know. I hear a lot. You know, I hear a lot of things. You know about you know about horrorcore. You know, you know this and that. Who's the creator? Who's the who's not the creator? And uh, if you don't know by now that I'm the creator, then that's on you. You know. But I just wanted to just show the difference. You know. Mm -hmm. To to how to how it really you know is supposed to be done. See that battle oh, yeah. suit you, you know. I mean, um, whatever suits you, it just lets you know, you know. I mean, you know, if you don't think I'm the, if you don't think I'm the creator, then you know, I let me, and then we'll see. Well, <laughs> no. I, you know what though, man, it's a very because I've never, you know, you've done a lot of horror cores, a lot of psychopathic, a lot of gangster type rap, but this was your first time on some battle shit that I remember. You know what I mean? Like this is some shit that could arrival you know, Big Daddy Kane or any of those guys, you know what I mean? Yes, sir, you know, but, you know, I raised up battling. Yeah, yep. You know, yeah, I raised up, but I have other songs, see, that's what, that's the beauty of the, um, the greatest horrors, because I have a song on the greatest horrors called The Difference, and the hook is like, the difference between me and them is this, I spit psych shit, nigga, they spit bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So, you know, that's the, that's the beauty of this album because, you know, it's going to take you back to the, you know, to the essence of everything. It, it definitely did. It's harder. You know, w what I'd like to do, man, is I'd like you to lace these guys on TuneCore a little bit, man. I think every artist should be doing this because I was really impressed last interview <laughs> with that whole thing because i'm looking at the description and i see the songs in there i'm like we didn't put that in there <laughs> and so tunecore does that for you man you get paid in the process talk about that a little bit yes. yes sir you know for all you young rappers out there you know if you're trying to get your stuff out you know it'd be a beautiful thing if you just you know put it on tunecore i mean tunecore charges you like 29 dollars to drop your album on 34, in 34 online digital stores, $29. I mean, we might spend $29 on gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You know, on we might go to Papa Do's or any eatery that's elegant, you know, I mean, and spend $29. So you should be able to spend $29 on your career and then it's gonna be in 34 online stores. I mean, iTunes, Amazon, you know, Google Play, Spotify. I mean, there's so many. They put it on Pandora for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, iHeart. I mean, you're everywhere for 29 bucks. And all you have to do is just um, promote it because TuneCore puts it on YouTube for you. So once they put it on YouTube, all you have to do is post from from their setup on YouTube. And every time somebody clicks it, whether they buy it or not, it's considered a stream. So whether you buy it or not, you know, I'm still going to see money off of it. Man. And that's the beauty of, of TuneCore. And you don't have to you don't have to be begging these record labels for deals when well, you can just make your own label. You can go to the courthouse, get you a DVA. Spend seventeen dollars and create your name. Once you get your name, put it on TuneCore, and you're good. You don't even have to press it up. You don't even have to press your album up anymore. You can just put it on TuneCore with the with the front cover mm -hmm. and post and post from YouTube. But do what I did, monetize your YouTube, and and also TuneCore allows you for an extra ten bucks to monetize your Facebook. So every time my stuff goes, like I post a song on Facebook, and if you push it, I get paid. It doesn't matter if you buy the album or not. All you have to do is open it. Once it's, it's open, you can open it and shut it. 
as soon as it opens, I get paid. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's a stream. That's nice. That's and too, when we do, people like us do interviews and play your music, you also get paid. I also get paid because yeah. they, they're going to have that, you know, that that sound machine. It checks for every, it checks for everything. Wow, that's you pretty know, incredible. You get you get money every week. They drop money into you know to my account just every week. That's, that's pretty amazing. It's just it's just amazing how different the industry is now, and just in terms of music in general. A lot of people like a lot of the old old established artists, you know, hate it. But for just anybody who really wants to go their own way and, and do their own thing, it's 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 pretty amazing what you can do uh, with all the technology and just the different outlets to to make money and also just to even just to sustain yourself, like and just keep going just to do what you love to do. Um, and yeah, it, you get I mean, a little money. You can off even it. have a job. I don't mean to cut you off. But you can just go mm -hmm. get a job, and then you still can just be making money. I mean, just posting your stuff to, you know, posting your stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. Instagram, you know, Facebook, Twitter, you know, LinkedIn. You know, I post everywhere. So that's all you have to do. And then you just, you know, you're just making, you're making your own money. And it makes you feel, it makes you feel better about yourself because you're not hounding a record label, you know, for a deal, you know, that you might not want to receive. You know, they're only well, giving like three sixty deals anyway. Well, not only that, but you, they they might be like, well, uh, gangsta nip, could, could you like maybe tone down a little bit of your stuff? You you, you talked about shaking somebody and then and, and they're blowing, exploding, their brains exploding like a shasta soda. That's a bit yeah. too violent and drastic <laughs> for our uh, our listeners out there. You know, there's none of that shit. You <laughs> do your own saying, shit. Yeah. But look, they don't get they don't get mad at um Stephen King and Steven Spielberg for what they do. Of course not. Of course right. not. Right. Well, you know that and and that's the thing, man. These labels should be doing these same things instead of trying to fight them. You know? It seems like they they want to fight the new way rather than jumping on board and doing it that way as well. See, that's why guys like you continue. That's why you said you're blessed with longevity because obviously you you know, you found a way to make shit work for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and I thank God for that. And, you know, you have to understand what they don't tell you is, a, you know, a lot of these distribution companies are going through TuneCore. Um, it's, it's like, it's a number of, of places that that um, that duplicate TuneCore, like in, in Cove, you know, it's a, it's a lot of them, you know, that, you know, but TuneCore is just the most popular in that field. Mm -hmm. So that's why I pick, you know, TuneCore. And for 29 bucks for the first year, you can drop as many albums as you want for $29, just over and over. You can drop 15 albums that year for 29 bucks. But after the first year, it goes up to 50 But so what? That's yeah, You spend $50 at the movies. Right. Well, not only yeah, you spend fifty dollars at a at a at a bar on a Friday night. At least I know some that's people. Right. Hey. That's, and look, that's one movie though. <laughs> well, it is, you know? and, and and if you if you do enough work in the first year, you're gonna make that back pretty quickly. So you're you know, make, you know, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna make that back the first you know in the first three months. Yeah. Yep. At yep. least if you if you know and like you said, doing, you yeah. can put out fifteen twenty albums, and that. Fifty dollars is going to cover you that you know for that whole yeah. You know, but then you can sit on it for a little bit if you'd like to too. So the second year, you know, you just yeah. keep it going. You know, just kind of get get a lot of just, yeah. Because I mean, it's forever, so it's going to keep. It's going yeah, to once keep it's out there, it's out there, and each of those tracks will be yeah. playing individually, streaming individually, earning income individually, and not just as an album either. So it's it, yes, incremental. And, and one more thing, you know, mm -hmm. and one thing I love about TuneCore, they give you, they give you the ISRC code. They what is that exactly? Code. Those are streaming codes mm -hmm. that, you know, you have your own personal number for that particular song. So when when, when they click it, it TuneCore, it automatically computes, you know, up to um, with, with, with TuneCore. And also, those same codes goes on your publishing also. See, like me, I'm, I'm ASCAP. So once I publish my songs... I add those codes from TuneCore, so now not only am I getting money from TuneCore, I'm also getting money again from um, ASCAP from the same codes that I got from TuneCore. Hmm. Wow. 
That's interesting. I need to keep this in <laughs> That's mind. That's a businessman. Okay. Well, because I'm, uh, I'm, I've gotten a, a band, uh, been a band myself actually. We've got a song that we're going to be songs we're putting out. So, uh, so it's interesting to see if we can get maybe make some extra income. Who knows how little it might, might be? But, but when you're art an artist and you're making money off the shit you create and off the stuff that you, and the stuff you love to do, there's no feeling like I mean, performing is almost a feeling like that for some people, like for myself. But, but in terms of just like that feeling of creating something and then actually making money off it, that's that's got to be that's, that's 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 where it's at right there. I assume, I would I would think. I mean, well, yes. And, and yeah. another thing, check this out. Another thing about TuneCore, they also allow you to do singles. Singles are ten bucks. Oh, oh wow! You can drop a single for ten bucks, like you were just saying about a song. Mm -hmm. You can go on TuneCore.com and just do that for ten bucks, and just. Let people stream it, or they also can buy it. They can they can buy it, but you know nowadays a lot of people have Apple Music and all of those things. Yeah. So Spotify is subscription it, services. It's yeah, subscription so it's, music so it's services are where it's going. Yeah. As a stream, if they don't buy it, mm -hmm. you know, as long as they click it once once it opens, it's a stream. So, so you don't. There's no more fear of oh man, I hope my record sells. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like shit. If you just clicked on it because you were curious, <laughs> I've already yeah. made money. You know, you know, it's, it's going to be know, incremental. Cur yeah. Curious minds want to know, and, and, and if you click one song and you like that song, what you think you're going to do? You're going to click the whole album. Right, right. If you're really feeling it, mm -hmm. well, you know what? It reminds me of remember those listening stations that used to be in the record stores. Yes, sir. But now you actually get paid for people going to your listening station. It's not just like somebody going, "Ah, man, I wasn't feeling the album." Well. <laughs> it's yeah. too bad because he got paid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, then TuneCore is overseas too. You oh, know, wow. so it's gonna it's gonna go. You know, right now my stuff is my stuff is being streamed and sold in like 15 different countries: London, China, Argentina, the Netherlands, Australia, Germany. You know, places like that. Canada, yeah, it's, it's Italy. worldwide. So I mean, I mean, you just can't, you just can't beat that, you know. Mm -hmm. No. So only thing you have to do is just keep promoting, just keep, you know, keep posting, keep promoting. Yeah. You know, you still can do videos and all of that. Yes. You know, you can mon you can monetize your videos also. You know. Yeah, you could make make a lot of money. Be a, you know, especially if the track is a killer. Which is the name of the next song we're going to go into right now. So, this is off once again the greatest horrors 18 tracks that are of uh, new stuff and older stuff, or old dish stuff, but stuff that you're going to that may be new for you. Uh, this track is a killer. The track is a killer. We'll be back in a few moments, in a few minutes with Gangsta Nip on the Nothing Sacred interview. Calling all cars, calling all cars. There's a funked out track. He's out there. He's on a murder spree. The snares, the bass, the kick drums, the lead guitar. Be on guard. These instruments are killing us. These instruments are killing us. Call the cops cause the track is hot Put out an APB cause the track is the killer hey, They say hey. the keyboard just got shot The bass line had the clock cause the track is the killer hey, The snare drum ran up in the spot You can like it or not, but the track is the killer hey, The kick hey. drum say he heard the pop Don't arrest D-Tag cause the track is the killer Call 911, there's a burglary There's a funked out track trying to murder me It's holding me hostage, bob your head Cause my own eardrum I'm trying to rob my head The cymbals and hi-hats need a car Plus the getaway driver is the lead guitar The keyboard say he's still in control But the kick drum say he's still on parole The snare so loud like the cops are coming Handcuff the track, tell him stop the running uh, Felony charge, let's get this clear Get caught, that's an automatic 15 years what uh, Plea bargain is not my style Cause the baseline wanna try to take it to trial Court appointed lawyers get no thriller, don't arrest D-Tag cause the track is the killer, hey! 
Call the cops cause the track is hot Put out an APB cause the track is the killer hey, They say hey, the keyboard just got shot The bass line had the clock cause the track is the killer hey, The snare drum ran up in the spot You can like it or not, but the track is the killer hey, The kick hey, drum say he heard the pop Don't arrest D-Tag cause the track is the killer Let me tell you a little something about my producer that? Track so funky, let me introduce ya hey, His name is D-Tag, he's the general man If the track ain't hot He's the funeral man If it ain't funked out You can put it on ice He can breathe into it Bring the track to life What else? Back to life and make it live again Which ultimately makes dividends If you need a little money I can give again Which upgrades the house That you're living in A D-tag track is worth more than gold Two, three, four, five thousand So It's like moving some work Homies, you can two-step, girls can twerk Got a blunt in your hand, you can light on up God bless Ready Red to get right on up Rest in peace Call the cops cause the track is hot Put out an APB cause the track is the killer hey, They say hey, the keyboard just got shot The bass line had the clock cause the track is the killer hey, The snare drum ran up in the spot You can like it or not, but the track is the killer hey, The kick hey, drum say he heard the pop Don't arrest D-Tag cause the track is the killer It's a crime scene the yellow tape is meant for what? Blood on the wall for musical fingerprints. The cops say the prints they come from D tag. DNA on the drum machine that he had. Hey, mix and master hot tracks he ripped. They say that the accomplice is gangsta nip. Put the track on the stand at the end of the night. It's a guilty verdict, so the track got life. Hey, call the cops cause the track is hot. Put out an APB cause the track is the killer. Hey, they say the keyboard just got shot. The bass line had the clock cause the track is the killer. Hey, the snare drum ran up in the spot. You can like it or not, but the track is the killer. Hey, the kick drum say he heard the pop. Don't arrest D tag cause the track is the killer. Man, the track was a killer. That shit murdered, just like Psycho Nip murders. <laughs> murders every track. So, you know, man, I, it, you can tell that that was brand new because obviously you paid homage to DJ Ready Red, who just died like two weeks ago. So this thing yes, is hot, off, hot off the press. You know, Ready Red made a lot of tracks. You know, Ready Red was a pioneer. You know, shout out to Ready Red. Shout out to my homie Jordan King. That's one of my good... Um, good people his name is jordan king because he has more jordans than anybody that i know <laughs> i mean he has like five six hundred pair you know he's the king but also shout out to um d tag my producer you know i love my producer he's from the netherlands you know i never i never even met him that's the beauty of it you know when <laughs> we just collab so we, we collab so so well that's why, you know, when I heard that track and I just said, you know, I, you know, I like to be creative. That's why, you know, you don't hear people talk about the instruments in the song as being the killer. Right. Yeah, and that's you know, right. you don't get that. That's because, again, you know, mm -hmm. people that they, they lack creativity, you know, everything, you know, sounds, you know, just the same, you know, right now. So the creativity is lacking, you know what I'm saying? Man. You know, so that's just what it is. I just like different stuff. I've always been different, and I'm going to always do me. I'm not going to switch my style because of this or because of that. I'm, I'm going to always do me. Well, that's uh, that's funny, man. I did not realize that you and D-Tag had never met, like face-to-face. Never, never. Face. I mean, you would think, you know, you would think we, you know, we have because, I mean, we're, we're so close you know, the bond is, you know, is is unbreakable, you know, with D-Tag. Shout out to the Dead Click. Shout out to the SPC. You know, he just one of those producers that just don't come around. He's a once-of-a-lifetime producer. You can tell his tracks are so, so clean. full. Yep. They're clean. They're crisp. They're full. And he just, he's so dynamic with his instruments. You know, he plays the guitar. I mean, he plays all the all the keyboards, you know. He plays all the instruments, so you can't you you just can't be the dude like that, you know. And I'm just really honored, you know, to be, you know, to be under his tracks, because all he makes is killer tracks. That's why I named that song. The track is the killer, because when I, you know, when I heard the track, you know, and it's always funky. If you notice, 
his tracks are mean, but they still have their lace with funk. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like. You know, I like hard tracks, but I like funk with it. Mm -hmm. Right. And nice. that's what that's what he brings because funk automatically makes you bob your head. Automatically, if the track is dope, you're gonna bob your head, even if you're not knowing mm -hmm. that you're bob your, bobbing your head. Well, Bobby. That's why. That's why I say um, my own eardrums trying to rob, rob my head. head. Yeah, exactly. That. that was one of my favorite lines. And I was going to try to bring that up because uh, <laughs> that was one of my other ones that I, I dug out, dug from that. It's a tight, yes, but, but you, so, so you have a producer who, who you who never actually met face to face. Obviously, you guys contacted via phone and other other forms of, of communication. It's just incredible that you can you can you know by phone, like I'm sure you, you talk by phone, other things, you know, other types of communication, but. It's just amazing that you can create and collaborate the way way we do now across the world in that way. It just opens up so much shit. Like it, you know, it goes back to the, the the tune core and just the way things are innovating now and changing. So I just think it's pretty crazy that you, you you've got this relationship with someone because I I'm the same way. Like people, are, you know, in, in a different way. Like online friends. I've got a very good online friend who actually uh, you know I married him basically. I, I became a uh, uh, so basically. But <laughs> I guess my point is that you meet people online and then people think oh you're just an online friend but they become really important people in your life and instrumental <laughs> no pun intended or maybe so uh, instrumental in your life you know <laughs> like uh like so that's pretty interesting how does that how do you um i mean it's, it's got to have to change your mindset about music a bit or, or what do you think about it in terms of just just the way you can do that with across the world i think that's great because a lot of times you know you know people have access to you on on social media and, you know, some people, you know, are not up to your level, but, you you know, every now and then you run across someone that, that is up to your level because D-Tag just dropped an album himself. He just dropped the Black album, and he also dropped F the Lane Stream. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You did post something Lane with Stream. it. Yes, so, you know, you can get those um, on, on TuneCore also. You know, shout out to um, shout out to Chris. And just shout out to my people. So, I mean, social media is just, it, it, it's just great. It brings people together if you use it on that, you know, on that level. Mm -hmm. And I remember when he, you know, he was just letting me hear some tracks. I noticed his level. And once I started noticing his level, then I started to guide him in, in my style. See, he always had the level, but, you know, I just kind of, you know, co coerced him into my style, and once he once he learned the format to what I like, and that's all she wrote. The tracks are the killers. It mm -hmm. was a man. It was a at that point, <laughs> it just worked. You know, your chemistry was just amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, like, you know, I wouldn't have it. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I wouldn't trade detail for all the money in the world. You know, right. DJ, and that's just how cold he is. He just, you know, he's just, he's great, you know. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. And uh, so he did, he's a producer on all of your new new tracks, correct? Or how long has he been working yeah. working with him? Well, DJ, had, he, he did Soldiers Only, full album with me. Um, he's doing, uh, he's doing um, The Greatest Horrors. He did the creative hardcore, mm -hmm. you know, which is also an of, incredible album. Most, if you haven't heard that, yes, most most of the most of the tracks, and you know, all that like came said, out I'm this just, year I'm as just well. Blessed, so. I'm just blessed to um to be in the presence of D Tag. It almost like it, it seems like he lives next door to me. How we communicate? Mm -hmm. I, I just assumed he did really. Like you guys were, you know, he was in Texas and you're in Texas. You know, what I mean, I just you never understand? thought until you Especially, just said that. You know, I say his name so much in the songs. Right. You mm -hmm. know, I say his name because he, you know, he deserves it. One thing about me, you know, I want to see people um, get their credit. I'm not a hater, so I want to see people get their credit, and and, and he deserves it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you, you you can hear the songs. They're so clear. They're crisp. They're precise. You know, the rock and roll that, you know, everything he does is so precise, mm -hmm. you know, and it's clean and it's loud. Yeah. Right. Sounds so, good. You no, know, it's just it's just a it's a, it's a blessing. Man. 
Man, that's some nice shit. You know, one thing I wanted to bring up real quick, because you did talk about this in another interview I heard you talking about. You said people on social media, man, will send you like a bunch of crazy satanic shit or devil worship and shit. And you're like, man, that ain't me, dude. Just because I'm the creator of horrorcore doesn't mean that I agree with shit like that. Yeah, they just, you know, they, you know, you know they do that because they think that, um, um, you know, you know that, you know that I'm into uh, devil, devil shit and all that. No, see, one thing about me, what people have to understand, God blessed me with the talent. See, I don't have to be into that because the talent was inserted in me from birth. Right. See, what I do is from birth. See, I don't have to. You know, I don't when I when I rap, I don't have no stage props. I don't do none of that. All you have to do is give me the mic, you know, and I'm just gonna say welcome. You see, right? Yeah, set the stage. It's all exactly. It's already, it's already in me, so I don't do all of that. I want people to see what's you know what what's in me naturally. So you know, I'm not I'm not fucking with that you know with that devil shit. Now, if you want me to you know if you want to feature me on a song. You know, I can, you know, I can do all of that, but I'm not into that. Yeah, you're not going to be you fucking uh, drinking the lamb's blood and dancing around a fucking you know fire at midnight on a full no, moon or some you know, shit. Right? I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not into that. I have three daughters, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm not trying to, you know, Understood. I'm not trying to hear that so, shit. But yeah. I will get on your track and enjoy. And bless it with them. Oops. Hello? All right, we'll pause for a second here. And come back in just a few. All right. Oh, okay. That that was a moment. You back? You back with us, uh, Nip? There you go. Okay, yes, cool. Yes, sir. Yes, All sir. Right. I'm here. All right. So okay. you, what you were saying was before. Uh, Max has the good memory here. So uh, yeah, you, you were saying, you know, because we we're talking about the whole. You know, people sending you all the devil worship stuff and all this, and you said you're not into yeah. it. But if you, but if they have a track, you'll you'll jump on it for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely jump on jump on the track because you know. That you know, I mean, it's in me. <laughs> I just, uh, I just don't take it to the forefront. It's just not my forefront thing. Yeah. You know, I, I do my thing in defense. You know, if you ain't fucking with me, then I'm not fucking with you. You know, we good. Yeah. You know, but you know that psych shit will, will come out. Now speaking, you know? speaking of people that try to get you to say doom and gloom shit. Now there, you do have a on the one of the final uh, song we're listening to is conversation with a gangster, and you mentioned this is more of a positive track in a way what what inspired you uh for for this song which is uh, the last song of the four we have uh um but what what you so you could, this is song is about what's the song about and and just give us a little idea of what what what, what, what the ideas are behind it well you know you know i watch the news a lot you know social media and all that a lot and i just noticed that it's just so many you know my you know my people we still you know we still you know we're still killing each other, you know, at, you know, at higher numbers, at high numbers. Also, you know, you have other people that's killing us also. So, you know, it's already bad enough that, you know, we're dealing with a lot of uh, police brutality. So we don't, we don't need the, um, you know, the black on black um, brutality. So I just decided, you know, um, you know, as brother Nip, as a conscious um, brother, to just just have a conversation about you know we need to cut that shit out, you know it, it's no you know it's no time for that. We need to be trying to you know get ourselves together, get our communities together, pool our resources, and just do something for self. You know we can't continue you know on the route that you know that we're going. We can't because we you know if we do you know we'll be facing um, extinction. So. I just want to talk to the, you know, talk to the real G's, the OG's, so they can talk to the youngsters in their, um, in their cities, and try to, you know, and try to slow this killing spree down. You know that's uh, what it is. My line on there, my favorite line on that is, uh, "Then you get mad and want to protest." I guess most gangsters like to wear Kotex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you know, it it is what it is, you know, because. You know, when the shit pop off, then you want to, you know, once it get close to you, you want to protest. No, right. you know what I'm saying? You know, what happened to the gangster shit then? Right, you right. Know? Like, so, don't, 
they'll get gangster on arrival, no question, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But God, you know, goddamn, you know what? When the shit, when the real shit pop off, when the the politics of this world pops off, then you know now you want to protest. No, it's time to see that that gangster. You know, saying then, you know, right. we have to, you know, we have to defend ourselves. You know, and you know, and our people. You know, what I'm saying, and you know, and the good. And you know, I have a lot of white, um, good, good, good friends. We have to de- defend. You know, all good people. You right. know, it's not it's not about just, you know um, just black. You know, mm-hmm. saying it's a lot of good. You know, um, white people out there. You know, D tag. You know, saying <laughs> you know D tag isn't black. Mm-hmm. So you right. can't tell me that there's not a lot of um, you know good people out there. My my studio engineer, um, white. You know, what I'm saying I have like 10, 15 um, good white homies. My my um my consultant is white my manager is white see so it's a lot not of about your listeners race. are too people it's about just, it's in, about it's yeah. about right yeah as a person as a human being yeah, yeah. It's just it's just it's just about right and that's just what it is for me so you know but as being the street messiah you know better known as brother nip it's just my duty to you know inform the gangsters that you know we need to we need to get these youngsters together and slow down the hypocrisy, you know, of genocide on our own people. And that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Man. Man. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful way to, to go into that. Let's, before we do go into conversation with the gangster and wrap this up, what's coming up, man? Where, 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 where we find you? What, what can we do? Obviously you have uh, things everywhere, Spotify, other places. So uh, just go anywhere I mean, where there's go, music and just and go, just find go look for gangster nip. You can go to any, you can go to any online store. You know, please pick up the creator of Hardcore, download it, put it on Apple Music. Mm-hmm. You know, Spotify, Google Play, whatever you want is there. Creator of Hardcore is out. Mm-hmm. Came out it's earlier this year. Classic, Fantastic, classic album. Yep, and you know, and. Probably the second week in October, get ready for the greatest horrors. You know, it's like a, a Halloween edition. And it's going to be tracks that, you know, saying, you know, those tracks are going to blow, you, blow your mind. Mm-hmm. Tracks, songs like Back from the Grave, Once Upon a Time. Um, I have one where I'm talking about, you know, a conversation with, with me and the devil. Huh. I mean, that's a that's so a these cold. are are these never released tracks? Yeah, they 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 definitely uh, been released. That's on the album called Steel Psycho. But what happened once I found out about TuneCore, I went to the distribution company and had them take you know everything down, mm-hmm. and that way I can re put it back up yeah, with my own ISRC codes and get all the money. You know, I don't have, I, I don't want to pay someone fifteen percent to put my shit on TuneCore when I can just do that shit myself because that's all the distribution people I'm um, going going to is TuneCore and and those other, um, you know, spots like that that right. do the same thing, CD Baby and all you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So that's where we can find all that stuff uh, eventually when it when it does drop. Look out for uh, for Gangsta go out Nip. now. Grab his stuff and and find the stuff out. The creator of horror, of, of, of horror core is out right now. Greatest horrors is coming up. So um, yeah, let's get into conversation with the gangsta uh, Nip. Thanks again for joining us, man. Taking the time uh, as always, man. As always, thank you. Look forward to <laughs> listening to your new stuff. We and will look. We we will do it again. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely man. <laughs> man. <laughs> and on that note, I'm Maxwell Silverhammer, and I am Cruise Control. And, and that's, that's the story, story there, yeah, bitches! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greatest horror conversation with the gangster. Gangsta Nip. Oh, nothing sacred interview. Yeah. You know, it's time to have a conversation with the gangsters, man. You heard? Let's go. Gangsters. Gangsters. Who you talking to? Gangsters. Conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters. Gangsters, 
gangsters. Who you talking to? Gangsters. Conversation with the gangsters. See, I'm sitting at the table with the real OGs. Conversating about how we kill each other with ease. That's gotta stop. Put the guns down, put up your fists. Catch the square, knuckle up, homie, quick with his wrist. I remember old school backyard we scrap. Hey. Take the easy way out, so you pull out a strap. The other man steady plotting how to kill black folks. Come together like in Hulu, like they did Dutch Schultz. Conversation with the gangsters and the thugs and dealers. Plugs and killers, grave diggers, gorillas. So you say that you a gangster, but you scared of the devil. Keep it real, homeboy, man, you scared of the shovel. Got a problem with your brother, so you gang up quick. Cops killed the little homie, so you hang up quick. Now you scared, so now you wanna protest. I guess now all you gangsters wearing Kotex. Talking to the gangsters. Gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters. Gangsta, who you talking to? Gangsta, conversation with the gangsters. See a D tag track is so functified. Hey. Devil kill us on the street and we get punctified. Uh. Where you gangsters at, homie, when your brother gets shot? Trayvon Martin's killer still walking around on the block. Damn. Eric Garner got killed. Tell me, what did we do? Nothing. Still bluffing. The joke's on you. Rest in peace to the little homie Tamir Rice. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, come here, knife, and get to swinging. Hey. Until I see the enemy drop And when he drops Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop Up in Florida The law is called Stand your ground what else? They stand up and shoot And gun a black man down How long we gon' watch And just let this go on Sandra Bland out to Sterling Man, the list goes on uh, Street Messiah is my occupation So quick to kill your brother But you're scared of Caucasian Talking to the gangsters Gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters. Gangsta. Who you talking to? Gangsta. Conversation with the gangsters. See, America is racist and it won't be stopping. Crooked cops been killing us since Speed Racer was popping. I salute Colin Kaepernick for taking the stand. There's a scripture in the Bible calling, Let us make man. See, it's wartime, homie. It's an eye for an eye. Either we fight back or we lay down and die. Brother Nip, see, I be out here teaching the youth. Only real true gangsters know I'm telling the truth. Talking to the Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters. Gangsters, gangsters, who you talking to? Gangsters, conversation with the gangsters.